fifth, as you see, is my favorite row. I saw a programming question on Reddit, and I thought it might be interesting to try and answer it on YouTube. So, Felicia Lipstick says, I need to convert lines in a CSV file to text files, where column one becomes the text file name, and the data in column two becomes the body of the text file. Not trolling, genuinely seeking help. Well, Felicia Lipstick, hopefully I can give you some help. Let's start by making up a CSV file. I'll use the text editor bin throughout this video, but feel free to use whatever text editor you find most comfortable. Let's, um, I have to think of some actual things to write. Let's just go for silly examples. Should it have a new line at the end of the file? Let's say yes. Now that we have our data, let's talk about how to get that into Python. I'm going to use the with open context manager. And my file name is Now I could use a CSV module, the CSV module from the standard library, but for simplicity and to demonstrate some Python features, I'm going to just do this with plain Python. The first thing to do is read text from the file and store it as a variable. Next, I will lightly process this and put it into lists. Script will remove that extra line at the end. Split paren quote slash backslash n will split the text on the new line character into rows. Now let's write a for loop over rows so we can access data in an individual row. Now let's split the row into columns. And this time we split on the comma character. I happen to know, based on the text that I put into data.csv, that there will be only two columns and that there will always be two columns. That makes what I'm about to do here safe to assume that it works. I'm accessing the item at the zero index of columns and the item at the one index of columns and storing them in the variables named file name and content because the question asked wanted to use the first column for a file name and the second column for the content in the file.
Now, to make this more convenient, I'm going to make a directory to put the output in. And go back to my editor. I'm going to use another context manager, this time in the body of the for loop, because we want a different file for each row. Oops, I forgot I wanted to use an F string to make this more pretty. Now I also need a second argument to open, specifically R for write. No, W is for write. Sorry about that. As out file, I can indent two blocks of spaces and say out file at write. Oh, that. And that should be all we need to make this work. Let's try it. Now, we'll see the into output and list our files. I'm not sure why they're in this order, but okay. Let's cat first.txt. This is the data edit is probably about fish. At second.txt, at third.txt, at fourth.txt, at fifth dot test. Fifth, as you see, is my favorite row. Let's take one more look at the Python and then call this a video. We add with open data dot CSV as F, file text equals F dot read. That's where we read the content from the file. We have file text equals file text dot strip. That's where we took away the extra white spaces at the potentially the beginning and the end of the bot of the text. Rows equal file text dot split on the new line character. Now for row and rows, we took the columns equals row dot split on the comma. File name equals columns position zero and content equals columns position one. And with open uh, uh, F string, which is a formatted string, output slash and then insert file name dot text with w as write for the mode as out file we have out file dot write content and that is how you manipulate a csv file in python to make text files from the contents of column two thanks for watching i hope that video was helpful i imagine some of you might have follow-up questions so if you do I will collect those in a video and answer them and put that video right somewhere. You'll see it. Thanks for watching.